Hey guys, welcome to Blonity. A lot of people ask me about a fundamental analysis about Care One or Crypto91, a British company. And yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very exciting company and it's different to our Bitcoin miners because Care One is specialized in investments into Web 3.0 based tokens and in generating staking rewards. But first of all, let's check what is proof of stake versus proof of work. So proof of work is the mining we know from our Bitcoin miners. You need a lot of electricity, you need these mining computers, and then you can mine Bitcoins. This is the proof of work algorithm here. So, and then there are some, diff um, there are some other um, consensus mechanisms like proof of stake because a lot of people think yeah proof of work it consumes too much electricity and yeah only the regions with uh, low electricity prices will benefit and so on so then there's proof of stake and yeah proof of stake is like with proof of stake there is no need for hard work relative to the stake the owner can participate in validating the next block and earn the incentive that means if you have a lot of coins, um, you can give that coins for this re validating process and you get a reward for this, like an interest. So it has pros and cons in my opinion. I mean, it, the positive thing, it, it does not need any electricity. It's very low cost because when you have the coins, uh, you don't need any machines. So um, the fixed costs are very, very low and the, and the other costs too. So OPEX and CAPEX are low. Um, yeah, but... Um, what I really like with proof of work or with Bitcoin mining, for example, is that you have this connection to the real world. You need uh, something real and this is electricity. You have real costs and this, this digital world is connected to the real world, in my opinion. And it is sure that someone has paid a lot of money to get this Bitcoin out of the ground by mining it. With proof of stake, you don't have it. So um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about proof of stake, but it seems like it could be the future for this web 3.0 stuff, for Ethereum and other things. So it's a nice diversification for our portfolio because on the one side, we have these miners with huge costs, but huge, uh, huge benefits in the bull market. But um, yeah, we th should think about these proof of stake uh, specialized companies. And KR1 is, I think, one of the best one in the world right now. And I will show you why. So, first of all, there's this guy Wexboy here on Twitter. He is an expert in KR1. So, um, I use a lot of his analysis to do my analysis here. And, yeah, he says on uh, two days ago, KR1 now boasts a 100 million portfolio. Um, yeah, so the portfolio of KR1 is now 100 million um, US dollars heavy and yeah i will show you now the the market capitalization here so wait a second here we're on bloomberg i have not the full version so that's so uh it's 60 million uh british pounds here right now so this is like 82 million us dollars so the assets on the balance sheet are bigger than the market cap which is which is very interesting so I will show you their last financial results here. I mean, they're from 2019. We are now in 2021. That's a little bit of an issue. Um, but we, what we can see here, I mean, 2019 was not a good day, a good year for all the altcoin projects, for all these De DeFi space and Web 3.0 applications. But we can see that they have, um, they sold some tokens here, uh, like 700,000 uh, Mm, British pounds here they have some staking yields and so on so they have like an income of more than 2 million pounds this is like more than 2.6 million US dollars so and the, you can see here the costs are very very low they have some some offices some people and and that's it um, so the profit was 1.3 million pounds so like close to 2 million US dollars in 2019. So this is not spectacular, but you can see the huge margin here. And yeah, now we have um, this these balance sheet here. I uh, will show you, wait a second. So there's this block here from Wexboy. Um, he is, this is an investment blogger. And first of all, he shows us all the investments. Yeah, maybe we can go there first. Um, 
So KR1 has started in 2016. This is very early with investing in this crypto project with Orgor. This is a prediction platform with Ethereum, you know, Ethereum, Golem, um, and Satoshi Pay. So, and they increase their investment every year. And in 2017, they started with Polkadot. It was something like a, a pre-financing. Um, so they were very early and got in very cheap. And this is now the biggest holding. And I think Polkadot could be some of these uh, hype coins in this bull cycle. So I expect huge increases here. So huge projects here. Um, in 2021, we have no new investment right now, but we are in January. So yeah, they're everywhere and they're everywhere invested. So um, let's go back here to um, to this balance here. So um, we can see these um, the holdings here of this company. And I think they have like 50 investment, different investments. Um, and the biggest one here is Polkadot. Uh, so where is it? So um, yes, you can see that it's in, in November, 20th November, it's like 18 million US dollars here. Um, and the price of a Polkadot was like five US dollars. So right now the price for Polkadot, um, we have it here is like 16.5 US dollars. So huge increase, like more than two X or three X. And yes, that's why the balance here in 20th November, 20th, it was like 30, eight million US dollars. But right now it's more than one hundred uh, million dollars because um, of for example Polkadot, but all these other coins they are rising or the most of them. So they have a huge balance sheet and they generate revenue by staking these coins. And they are very low cost. So um yeah it would be nice to have the twenty twenty financial results. But um yeah in in, in uh yeah let's go back to these uh, financials here. Um where where do we have it so um the balance sheet here i mean it was like 8 million or something like this the assets was like 7.4 million so i mean now we're at 100 million so they increased by yeah 10x or so um within one year so this potential is is huge and and uh, on top of this um they get these staking rewards um i will show you so for example um yeah this is a, a news news feed here from k1 update on revenue from polka dot staking yields um k1 a leading digital asset investment company is pleased to pro provide an update on the company's revenue from staking activities on polka dot so um k1 k1 has generated more than 194,000 dot, so Polkadot, from staking yields over the last six months since Polkadot migrated to a proof of stake network on June 18th. So, um, yeah, multiply this with two, then you have the staking reward for one year. So, I think they mine like, um, they mine like more than 350,000 Polkadot per year. And yeah, right now it's at, yeah, it's close to twenty dollars. Let's let's make twenty dollars. So this is a lot of money. Uh, they they are mining. Uh, they are staking right now. Um, it's like uh, four four million US dollars in staking revenue, and they have a lot of other coins. So um, Wexboy calculated they have a staking reward or revenue like ten million per year right now. So, I mean, Bitcoin, in my opinion, could easily go 5x this year to, let's say, 200,000 US dollars. But we always have these hype coins in these bull markets, which have a lot more increase than Bitcoin. For example, Ethereum could increase more. And I think Polkadot uh, will increase more too, um, because it's very hyped. It is very, um, yeah, it's, it's very, it seems very, um, high potential so we can see here we started at, at five dollars here and here um, I think six months ago we were at three dollars or so um, so this is a huge increase and what Polkadot is doing is um, yeah Polkadot enables cross blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset not just tokens connecting to Polkadot gives you the ability to interoperate with a wide variety of blockchains in the Polkadot network. So yeah, we have a lot of different blockchains and Polkadot tries to connect these blockchains. And there are a lot of other benefits here. 
So Polkadot is a very interesting project, very promising, um, I think. Uh, yeah, but I want to go, don't want to go into detail here on Polkadot because we're here about Care One. And yes, so um, let's say they have right now 100 million US dollars in assets and they're growing. Let's say Polkadot goes 10x this year. I think it could go a lot more, but let's say 10x from $20 to $200. I mean, the assets of KR1 are easily like 500 million or more. I mean, it could go to 1 billion in one year. In this year, um, let's say the, the balance sheet got, goes 10x because these are all promising projects. And yeah, then the balance sheet would be, or the assets would be like 1 billion with a staking reward right now it's like 10 million it could be easily like 50 or 100 million a year so yeah and the company right now is 80 million in market cap so i think you can see the huge potential here of ko one i think a, a 10x beggar is 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 due to this company um, but they need to be listed on an additional exchange i guess i don't know this akis exchange here but i know it's very difficult to buy ko one right now also for the US, our friends from the US, from Canada. So um, yeah, please write an email to KR1 and if you cannot buy it or to your broker and say, I want to buy it, uh, maybe they will do something because it's only a matter of time for me that this, um, that this company will explode or the stock price for this company. Yes. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, you can, if you want more details, read this blog here of Wexboy. Um, Google Wax Boy and it's very easy, wordpress.com. So he has all this information. Um, I will not do my separate um, analysis here because it's very good. Um, they're very good projects. They're making a lot of money. They have basically no costs. So this is all margin. Uh, this is all margin what they're generating. So very nice company, um, very nice project they're invested in. Um, like Polkadot, for example, or we know Ethereum, we know Augur, Omise Go is very promising. So yes, this is a very good diversification to our miners. So that's why I am increasing my K1 position. I think I'm right now at 4% or so. Um, and I, will th I think I will increase in the upcoming weeks this position to maybe 5%, maybe a little bit more. I have to think about this because this is a sleeping giant in my opinion. And I, I think there are not a lot of other companies like this out there who have this portfolio, this know-how since 2016. And yeah, they're ge generating so much money. Okay guys, so that's KR1. Um, I'm very bullish on this company. Um, yeah, the, the ticker in, in Germany is K4H. Um, you can see the chart here, it's, it's going parabolic right now. K4H, um, the company is KR1 PLC. Um, yeah, maybe um, if you if you own these this, uh, KR1 stocks, you can write down in the comment section how, how you do you buy it. I buy it at the Börse Stuttgart in Germany, they have it. Uh, maybe there's a way for our friends uh, from overseas to buy it, I don't know. Um, but uh, there should be a way because, um, yeah, this is a very promising stock, I guess. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we will see us in our my minor comparison on YouTube. Yeah, thank you very much and see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.